How are you? Kamusta? Mainit. <laughs> mainit nga ngayon. It's uh, yun, ano ba? Pero mas mainit nung the other week. Yeah. 88. Nag-100 plus dito sa LA. Kay init. Oh. Nung ano yun? Nung last, last, week. Uh, oh, last, last week. Anong pagkain natin bukas? Eh, uh, ano? Patak-patlak. Ano madala? Di na. <laughs> <laughs> Dadala siguro kaming sandwich. So, iba, magdala ng soda. Iba, magdala ng kung ano man. Malapit lang naman sa ano eh. Sa once eh. Oo. Oh. Eh, hindi naman tayo pata pwedeng mag-rice doon eh. Kasi... <laughs> hindi mo so rice doon. Hindi naman madami lang lilinisin, di ba? Hindi na. na ayos, halos ayos na yung ano eh. Yung kitchen. Mabilis na lang yun eh. Yeah, bilis lang yun. Ang ilalabas lang doon yung ano, yung sa office yun lang. Tsaka mm-hmm. ayusin siguro yung stock room. May stock room ba? Uh, alam ko may stock room tayo. Diba hindi, at, hindi naman natin nilagyan ng gamit? Yung tabi ng office di ba atin yan? Mm, kasi may nakalagay na ibang iba na yung gamit dun eh. Hindi naman atin eh. Ah ganun. O, hindi na natin na uh, gagalawin <laughs> yung office. Hindi ko alam kung Kasi nakita ko doon gamit na nung ano eh. Nung, nung ibang church. Magtatapod na lang siguro tayo ng gamit natin na hindi kailangan. Oo nga. Yeah, para lumuwag yung opisina. Apairapan pa natin magtapod. Mag... Bumana yun eh. Yeah, bigay na lang sa goodwill. Fellowship din. Hi, G! Kamusta? Kamusta po? Nandiyan pa si, ano? Sister Bernadette. Ay, si Bernadette. Nandiyan si, si, ano, si Sandy. Wala pa. Hi, si Bernadette. Kamusta na? Ang um, bayan, hindi ko nakikita. Naka, naka-freeze yung, ano, yung uh, frame ni Sister Bernadette. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Sister, Sister Lenlen, uh, pakilala kita kay, uh, kay Sister Reggie from Texas tsaka si Sister Hello. Bernadette, taga-Texas din. Hello. Nasa Texas sila ngayon? Nasa ano sila, Texas. Sa uh, Houston kayo, di ba? Ay, na Houston. Hello. Uh, Saan Texas kayo? Nalimutan ko talagang. <laughs> from, from San Antonio, nasa Houston kayo ngayon, di ba? Oo, oh, kami, yes. Houston, okay, okay. Yung brother ko nasa Woodland. Oh, malapit lang yun. 45 minutes. Bigyan <laughs> mo na ka-Reggie yung address para mabisita niya. <laughs> Charot. <laughs> pastor yan eh. Pastor ng bibisita yan eh. Nag-home visitation. Iglesia ata yung kasawa eh. Ayan. Si Sister Lenlen, taga LA naman yan. Sister Lenlen, yan. Check sa'yo address. <laughs> Hi, Tita Fe. Good evening. Ano sabi siya? Yeah. Hi, Tita Fe. Sandali, invite ko si Meno at si Mai. Sige, sige. Good evening, Tita Fe. Baka ano... Bukang hindi ang ano eh. Walang picture. Si Tita Fe. Ano, naga, naga ano lang yan. Nag, nag-freeze kasi minsan eh. Ayan, okay na. Good evening, Tita Fe. Good evening, Pastor. Hi, Tita. Hi, Lenlen. Kumusta ka? Good, good. Miss na miss kita. Oh, miss din kita, tita. Wala pita tayo magkita. Oo nga. Magkukulitan ka na naman sa akin. Mm-hmm. Ita Fe, I want you to meet Sister Bernadette and Sister Reggie from Texas. Oh, yeah. Nice meeting you. <laughs> si Ita Fe, taga LA din. Ay, ang daming bibisitahin sa ito ah. Yeah. Ika, <laughs> saan si Sandy? Ate Bernadette, kamusta na? 
Naka-freeze yung kanya ng ano eh. On ko lang yung ano. Kumusta? Sa akin ba, Pastor? Join ka o, oh, yung group o, oh, si Dati Bernadette. Oo nga yung, sa ating Bernadette. Doon muna kayo, Pastor, Bible Study. Sandali lang, tapos na tayo. Akasya ka. <laughs> Ten yun. Kay Pastor Jeff to. O oh, sige. Hindi bibigay yan. Tanggang ko eh. Masira mo na yun. Dapat ka dito para makita ka nila. Ito masira eh. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Nasa gid na. Hello, Hi, Mami. Kamusta na po? Hi, Mami. Mabuti kayo. Hi, Mami. Hello, Mami. Praise the Lord. Hi, Sister Nelly. Ano na si Ate Bernadette? Nakapos. Sister Nelly. Oh, si Sister Nelly. Wala picture. Nagtatago. <laughs> Hindi ka siya yung mukha sa picture. <laughs> hey, Joe, stay up. Wala na. Natatawa ko. Joe, balik ka na dito. Sabi mo na ito. Mga one hour. Eight to nine. Eight to nine. Eight to nine. One hour lang tayo. Eight to nine. Eight to nine dyan. Ay, no. Seven to nine. Ano oras sa dyan ba? Seven to eight. Plus two. Sa Texas, plus two hours. Ano ka lang? Sige, mamaya na na ba? Nasa labas daw siya. Sino yun? Laika. Taga LA? Oo, taga LA. Yes, kuya Jim, pipin ko yan sa short throat. Okay. Let's start. Huwag ako si Shami. Si Shami may COVID eh. COVID eh. Pag-pray natin, tawagin na siya. Huwag ako. si Ate Bernadette. Hindi niya kinain. Paano mo kinain na yung gamot? Paano mo kinain na yung gamot? Okay, let's start. Let's start with a prayer. Tito Fe, can you lead us? Into a prayer. Okay. Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you, God, for being together here. We thank you for your presence amidst us, O Lord. And we pray that we will be able to receive, O God, through the power of your Holy Spirit, what you have kept in store for us tonight. Be glorified in everything we say. And, and do, O oh God, tonight for your glory, we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, we commit this time to you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Text me, Joy. All right. So, for tonight, ito yung pag-uusapan natin. Eh, sikat na sikat na verse to eh. Madalas nga, ginagamit siguro natin to. Lahat ng lana na sa mga sitwasyon ngayon, eh, We need to be still and know that I am God. So, meron three important learnings tayo to remember for tonight's life group. Una, your faith says thank you. Number two, you're pre-wired to be imitators. Kung baga para mas maintindihan natin, yung number three, that we need to be still. And know that he is God. All right, Sister G, Sister Reggie, may si Basa po. In first slide natin. So maybe you have a dream to get out of debt, to pay off your car or house, or be free from the burden of love, but it looks like it's impossible. Mm-hmm. Madaming tao ngayon na mumblema, no? Kasi pandemic eh, daming Bills. Madaming bayarin. Kulang trabaho. Kunti po mapasok na pera. Kulang yung trabaho. Ayan. Uh, mag, mag self mute muna po tayo. And then kapag ka-turn nyo na po na magbabasa, 
uh, i-unmute nyo na lang po yung inyong self-mute mo na po tayo. Yan, para walang feedback. Alright. So, yun. No? Madaming, madaming ano ngayon ang problema. So, kailangan uh, mas maintindihan natin ano yung ibig sabihin ng be still and I know that He is God. Ayan. So, uh, Tita Fe, kindly read po yung second slide. Okay. Ito, business Uh-oh. is slow. Mm-hmm. The economy is down. Mm-hmm. You've gone as far as your education allows. Mm-hmm. Yung ba, Pastor? Opo. So, ngayon, uh, lalo na nga dahil pandemic, kahit di naman pandemic, minsan business is slow, mababa yung economy. Diba? So, para nakatide up tayo sa sa pera, no? yung paggastos ng pera. No? But ito naman yung maganda. God is saying na, uh, Sister Lenlen, may kibasa? Ay, ang liit ka. I'm not limited by those things. I've got resurrection power. I can give you one break that will thrust you to a new level. I can open up doors that no man can shut. I can bring talent out of you that you didn't know you had. I can cause people for no reason to go out of their way to want to be good to you. Mm. Do, you do you agree na kayang gawin lahat to ng Diyos? No? Kasi pag sinabi, yes. niya na, pag sinabi niya na sa verse na alimbawa, yung famous na verse na Jeremiah 29.11, I can do all things through Christ. Uh, I'm sorry. Ano yun? Like Philippians pala yun. <laughs> Ma, my plans is to prosper you not to harm you to give you hope in the future. Uh, Kung baga, pag translate mo sa sarili mong salita, no, sa, sa panahon ngayon, no, sabi niya dito, eh, kumbaga, uh, meron siyang resurrection power, which, which is na-proved niya naman yan 2,000 years ago. Alam naman nating lahat na lahat ng Diyos na nag patay pa sila hanggang ngayon. Di ba? Pero yung Diyos natin buhay. Right? So may resurrection power siya. Kung kaya niyang bumuhay ng bangkay, kagaya nung kay Lazarus, eh how much more yung karir mo, yung negosyo mo, or yung uh, situation mo financially, or yung health mo, or kung ano man situation mo ngayon, or broken relationships, diba? kayang-kaya niyang ayusin. Sabi dito, I can give you one break that will thrust you to a new level. It's just a matter of opportunity. Pwede niyang all of a sudden, isang araw, madaming kwento gano'n na, kumbaga, it, it, it just changes their life na biglang nabago yung kanilang buhay. ba? Diba? Hi, Sister Joy. Kamusta, kamusta? Welcome. Good evening po, Pastor. Good evening good, po sa lahat. Good evening, good evening. Eh, si Sister Joy naman, taga uh, South Carolina, right? Opo, Pastor. Ayan. Uh, si Sister Lenlen at si Tita Fe, taga LA. Si Sister Hello. Reggie. Tsaka si Sister Bernadette naman, taga Texas. Okay. Good evening Good evening, good evening. Okay, good sabi evening. dito, I can open up doors that no man can shut. Do you agree with that? No? Yes. Kahit na pagpilitan mo isang bagay pag walang approval ng Diyos. Wala rin, di ba? Pero minsan may mga bagay na parang hindi po, pwede, hindi posible. Pero sabi nga, I can open up doors that no man can shut. Para sa'yo, para sa'yo. Eh, binigay sa'yo ng Diyos yun eh. I can bring talent out of you that you didn't know you had. Ako ba? Hindi mo na di-discover na sa'yo pala yung gift na yun. Eh. Baga, pwedeng ipakita sa'yo ng Diyos. I can cause people for no reason, biglang mabait sa'yo, bibigyan ka ng favor. Di ba? It's just a matter of, kumbaga, uh, trusting the Lord. Sabi nga, your part is to keep believing, knowing that He wants to bring you great Blessings. Do you agree with that? Agree. Na, Panginoon, eh, gusto lang eh, kung ano yung maganda sa'yo. Great blessings. Pwede niyang burahin yung debt mo, pwede niyang burahin yung sakit mo, pwede niyang burahin yung broken relationships. No? Sabi dito, uh, Sister Joy, makikibasa. He, remember, He is risen, He is alive, and He is faithful to His word. Mm-hmm. Trust Him and let His resurrection power work in every area of your life. Ayan. Amen. Amen. Kasi, 
sa totoo lang, minsan ang Easter Sunday, eh, pang Easter Sunday lang natin sineselebrate eh. Alam niyo ba, every day is Easter Sunday. Kasi we need to understand yung principle na He is risen. We are serving uh, 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 a, a great God in just na buhay. No? Faithful siya doon sa word niya. Kasi the word and God is one. No, kailangan lang natin ano, magtiwala na merong pwedeng resurrection power na nag-work within us. Right? Uh, welcome muna natin. Sino ba ito? Si iPhone. Ay, iPhone. <laughs> Naka- bong! Ayun, si Bong pala ito. Hindi <laughs> ko nakilala. Hi, Bong. Hello, Pastor. Good evening from Texas, si Bong. Ayan. Katatapos ko lang nag-ano sa alaga ko. Oh, so, meron tayong taga-tatlong, tatlong taga-Texas. Uh, hi, Sister LV. Hello, Pastor. Good evening. Good evening to everybody. Meron naman tayong mga taga-LA, si Sister LV, Sister Len Len, at saka si Sister Fe. Uh, meron tayo from Texas, Sister Reggie, Brother Bong, and Sister Bernadette. And uh, from South Carolina, Sister Joy. Okay, so iba-ibang time zone tayo. <laughs> Merong 7, may 8, may 9. Alright, let's go back sa pinag-usapan natin. Eto na, pag-usapan na natin. How to be still. No? Meron tatlong learnings tayong dapat matutunan ngayong gabi. Paano ba tayo may apply natin yung pagiging still? Okay, o sige. Reg, pakibasa. Okay. What does be still and know that I am God? Meaning, mom. Okay, be still and know that I am God. Um, the first half of Psalm is a popular verse used to encourage believers to be still and silent before the Lord. This interpretation promotes a healthy rest in the presence of the Lord. Mm-hmm. Dalas ginagamit ito ng mga Krisyano eh. Di ba? May kanta pa nga yan eh. Di ba? Yung uh, be still and know that I am God. So, sabi dito, uh, this is used para ma-encourage tayo. No? Pero merong mga prerequisite. Eh, no? Pero bago yun, tingnan muna natin dito yung main message ng uh, salmo na to. So alam naman natin, pag salmo, ibig sabihin, sa Tagalog, awitin yan. Eh. No? It's a song. So, uh, sabi dito, the Lord is a refuge and strength and our stronghold. More importantly, the Lord of hosts is with us. No, ibig sabihin, ito yung main message ng how to be still. Kumbaga, pinaparamdam niya na is in full control. So ito yung pag-uusapan natin ulit ngayong gabi. Una, your faith says, says thank you. Number two, your pre-wired to be imitators. Kailangan natin maintindihan yung dalawang yon bago natin mas ma, para mas maintindihan natin yung talagang topic na be still. Uh, we need to be still. So, let's start. So, define muna natin yung faith. Ito dati, binanggit ko ni Sister LV. Sister LV, makikibasa po anong ibig sabihin ng faith sa Hebrews 11.1. Faith. 11.1? Sandali. Nandito po sa screen. Pakibasa na lang po. Sa screen ba? <laughs> ano ba? Ah, ito po ba? Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Yes. yes. Oh, yun yun eh. Yun yung faith eh. Isang bagay na inaasa-asam natin, naasahan natin, naasam-asam. Pero alam natin na hindi naman natin nakikita, pero alam natin darating. Yun yung pananampalataya. Di ba? Ito yung panlaban ni Abraham eh. Baga, ito yung kanyang uh, one of his uh, greatest weapon yung kanyang faith, di ba? Ito isang bagay na tinuro niya sa atin na napakaganda. Okay, simulan natin. Yung first learning natin, sabi dito, faith say, says thank you. No? Uh, makikibasa. Brother Bong, makikibasa yung 1 Chronicles 16.34. Ah, nakamute ka, Brother Bong. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy and loving kindness endure forever. Oh, para ako nakikinig sa misa. 
Arang <laughs> sal mong responsaryo, arang gano'n, you know? arang, uh, arang mapapatahimik ka talaga. You know? Okay, sabi dito, give thanks to the Lord for He is good. Amen. For Amen. His mercy and loving kindness endure forever. Right? So, sabi dito, faith says thank you. Tingnan natin. Ayan. Napapansin niyo ba? Ano ba kayo? Dog person ba kayo? O cat person? Sino ba dito mga dog person? Kung preferably, anong gusto mong uh, ha- uh, alaga? Aso o pusa? Wala. Wala? Wala <laughs> <Ang> gusto <laughs> alaga? <laughs> How about the others? Meron ba sa inyo yung dog person? Meron bang cat person? Kasi ako dog person ako eh. Uh, dog person. Okay. Dog person po ako. Dog. <laughs> si brother po ang dog person. How about you, Sister LV? Dog din po. Dog. Ikaw, Sister Reggie? Wala po. <laughs> Ayaw na alaga. Ayaw na alaga. Okay, dog. Okay. Uh, uh, how about you, uh, Sister Joy? Dog pastor. Dog person then. Okay. How about you, Sister Bernadette? Can you hear us? Are you a dog person? Curtain. Dog. dog. Good evening, Pastor Jeff. Hi, good evening, Pastor Vesad. This is Vesad, yes. Hi, good evening. How are you? Hi, Vesad. Um, thank Hello. you so much. Hello. Nice. I'm sorry if we are late. It's okay, okay. It's okay. We're talking yeah. about uh, being Start still back. and uh, knowing that uh, our Lord is uh, always with us and He's still God in our lives. Okay. Yes. So, uh, gamitin nyo na yung mga natatago nyong English. Kailangan natin mag-shift sa English. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, brother Bersad. Good evening, Pastor. Hi, good evening, Sister Mary Ann. Good evening, thank you. Yeah. Good evening, Tita Mary Ann. Daming aso, just sa likod. Ayan. <laughs> we were asking if you are a dog person or a, a cat yes. person. Well, obviously. <laughs> They have a dog person yan. <laughs> obviously. So most of us are dog persons, right? So, yes. uh, good. Since we are all dog persons, uh, <laughs> Uh, one thing, uh, one good characteristic of a dog that I observe is that whenever, whenever they see you, they wag their tails, right? Especially when you're preparing their food, no? they yeah. wag their tails and then they keep on uh, like uh, running into you. And, uh, whenever, and, and whenever you give them food, while they are eating, they keep on wagging their ta- uh, They keep on wagging their tails. So it is uh, mani- it's like manifesting that they are so grateful, that yeah. they are so thankful for the food, for the love, for the caress, for the you know, uh, the, uh, they are so for the attention. No, one of the uh, the, the animals that I observe na most uh, hindi lang faithful kaya ang man's best friend. Mm-hmm. No, but also very very loving very very loyal and very very thankful no i noticed ito yung mga aso these are the dogs no and if the dogs can do this no how much more our heavenly father who provides for us daily who is very faithful to us who's very merciful to us who's very forgiving to us how much more na we should also be thankful and learn from our pet dogs, right? So, uh, let's read this. Let's ask Sister Maria. Sister Maria, can you read this please? The next yes. line. One thing I've noticed is that when you live with an attitude of constant gratitude, not only will you thank God for what He's done in your life, you start thanking Him for what He will do in the future. Amen. Do you agree with this? Amen. 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 Have you experienced, or well, probably most of us experienced the, you know, the balikbayan boxes? And then you, this is a, this is a Filipino thing that where you, you will put all your stuff, you'll buy something from 99 cents, from Ross, from Macy's, from wherever, from Walmart, and then you'll put it in a box and then you'll send it to the Philippines and you'll put names of your brothers, sisters, nephews, nieces, 
parents. So, uh, I don't know if you if if you are noticing. Uh, there are some relatives of yours that they will say, "Oh, thank you, I received the 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 shoes, the rubber shoes," or "Thank you, I received this and that, or the chocolate or whatever." No. And you, you felt good, right? Because in, you know that uh, you, you, you've been a help to these people. But there are also other relatives of you that, you know, they, they receive it or they don't receive it. It's just the same. Or probably it's because of our Filipino culture that we want to say thank you. But the thing is, we're, we're too shy to say thank you, right? But the thing is, as a person who gives away a lot of things coming from the U.S., you are excited again to prepare another box for your relatives. And you will, you, you will list down the people who said thank you to you because you want a repeat business, because you feel like <laughs> you've been helping these people, right? The, the thing is, it says here, the, the, the one that I read by Sister Marian, one thing I've noticed is that when you live with a, an attitude of constant gratitude. It means you are consistent of being grateful to God, consistent of being grateful to a lot of people. Now, not only you will thank God for what He's done in your life, specifically on your present day, you will also start thanking Him no, sa mga hindi pa dumarating for the things that no, He will do in the future. Do you agree? Amen. Yes. I don't know. I don't know with you guys. I've been. Uh, I have three kids, and uh, my eldest is 22, and uh, I have a 18 year old, and I have a 11 year old. And as early as now, I'm thanking God for the spouses, for the future husbands and wives of my kids. No, na he will give them. He will give them. No, he will. Uh, uh, he will be that, that he will be that that he will pay them to, because I believe that uh, whatever you're asking right now, it will be a po positive answer in the future. And yeah. since that uh, you have these experiences from God that you always receive, you know, beautiful blessings from Him, you started you know, your faith starts to build up. That you know, oh, I know that someday. But uh, whatever I will need, God will provide for me. It is something like, oh, my, 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 my mother gave me this tuition fee for this month. My mother gave me this allowance for this month. There is this assurance in your heart that you will still receive the same amount by next month or by next year until you finish your school, right? So this, you, have this, uh, uh, you, you have this attitude that you, you will start thanking him or what he will do in the future. Kumbaga sigurado ka na. No? Any any uh, inputs any anything that you want to add about this or have you experienced this? Anybody? Yes. Okay, G, go. Yeah. Ako pastor ng ano, I remember nung uh, 2003 uh, 6 naghahanap ako ng work kasi 'di ba may three kids ako there's no way for me to work. Mm -hmm. Tapos Hindi ko alam sa ko pero Lord nagpapasalamat na ako sa binibig sa ibibigay mong job kasi alam ko bibigyan mo ako kung saan ako mag-excel. Alam mo yon. Pinagtry mm -hmm. ko na yon. Wala pa man, hindi ko pa alam pero ano, I believe and my faith is like thanking him all the time. Tapos ito na nga, <laughs> kung saan niya ako dinala. Yeah. So, yeah. ang sarap ano, kasi sa, kasi kanina dinefined, it was defined uh, earlier by sister uh, uh LV Faith is something that we that we hope for, that, that we are sure of, even though we don't see it. Yes. Ano yan? Just like yes. your, our, 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 our pet dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have jobs, right? Yeah. <laughs> they didn't finish college. But they are being fed every day. And they are sure that they will eat the following day, the next week, the following month, because you're there. You are the provider for them. No? Just mm -hmm. like us, we have God. We, we have this assurance in our heart that everything will be okay. After this pandemic, no? the Lord will restore all our businesses, all yeah. our, our, our uh, jobs, 
all our opportunities. No, we need just to hope for. No, instead of thinking negative things that you know things will be. This is like doomsday, and you know it will be a uh, end of the world, and uh, you know everybody will start killing each other. No, it's not. You know this is a time for us Christians that we show the world that we have faith, trusting a, a beautiful God who can possibly create a beautiful scenario, starting probably tomorrow. Who knows? After when we wake up tomorrow, COVID-19 is gone, right? And we can go back to our uh, normal lives. I don't want the new normal. I want to go back to the old normal, right? Where we can hug each other, where, where we can you know, have fellowship every Sunday, where we can go to Bible studies and eat dinner together, go to the park, picnics and everything, you know? So we just need to hope for those things, thing, right? With an attitude of constant gratitude, mm -hmm. not only... Oops, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Who's talking? Sorry? Right, Auntie Bernadette, I think she's reading it. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. It's I'm okay. sorry, I didn't know I, was, uh, I wasn't on mute. <laughs> okay, okay. Go ahead, sorry. share it. Sister Bernadette, go ahead, share it. I, he I heard no, attitude of... Uh, uh... No, I was, reading, I was reading what's on the screen. Ah, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> So okay. yeah, it's okay. Uh, any any uh, thankful experiences that you experience? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Thankful experience uh, is is so hard to say uh, very detailed, but mm -hmm. through my life, um, uh, uh, as you said, we have to be thankful. Um, uh, I was, uh, personally for me, I wish um, I had a heart of God to appreciate 24 hours for everything, mm -hmm. for people and God. Um, but because I'm, I don't know, because of my flesh, sometimes I forget. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, uh, I think when people are nice to me, uh, mm -hmm. like it is their job. Mm -hmm. It was like that uh, long time ago before, mm -hmm. but uh, right now I recognize that uh, even I go to the shower, I say thank you Lord for the water, thank you for mm -hmm. the shower, thank you for the soap, thank you for the food, thank you for the every single thing I always thank for my life, for my wife, for, for my child, for my car, even I sometimes mm -hmm. I say thank you, my car. You uh, take me there. <laughs> and then, Amen. Like that. Yeah, so I'm so thankful for everything. But mm -hmm. I'm just saying uh, I was like before, like a, somebody do something nice to me is like their job, but mm -hmm. it's not nobody's job. It's a, our job to love people. Mm -hmm. Our, our I agree with Brother Bong. No? Our topic is like uh, not just teaching us to be thankful to God, but also to be to exercise the good biblical culture of thanking other people, especially if they're nice to us. You no, know? especially if they've done something that is, you know, for example, somebody helped you uh, in uh, moving out, no, or uh, somebody helped you, for, uh, uh, for example. Uh, who treated you for lunch, or somebody gave you just a you know a kind of soda? We need to exercise yung pagiging thankful. For Filipino culture, kasi sometimes uh, you know we we wish we wanted to say thank you, but somehow naiya tayo, right? Na papansin niyo ang sa Filipino culture. Yes. Mm -hmm. How about this, uh, Tita Fe? Can you read this, please? Thank you. Okay. Uh, am I unmuted? You're good, Tita. We can hear you. Okay. You thank him for opening doors for you. You thank him for increasing you. You thank him for bringing the right people into your life. Oh, Amen. that's wonderful. Yeah. Amen. Do you believe that God can open doors for you even though it's pandemic? Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Do you believe yes, that God yes. can, end, can end pandemic anytime soon? You know? yeah. <laughs> he can increase you. He, he, can, he can bring you the right people into your life. 
especially if you're into sales. <laughs> right? Because it's a matter of going to the right person. Because even though you go to a lot of people and they're not buying from you, so it's nothing. But, you know, even though, for example, you go to 100 uh, uh, persons and you're trying to sell something. And these 100 persons, uh, they don't buy anything from you. So you, you didn't profit. You didn't make a profit. But for example, God lead you to just three or five persons and they all bought your, your product or your services. So, you know, you can, you can rely to God and you can ask for Him now, because He's the giver of wisdom you know, for us to... And, and maganda pa dito, the Bible says, the Lord is the one who's capable of giving you or, or, uh, or giving you opportunities and uh, He's the one, isa yung reason why you can create wealth. All right. So, sabi nga, a thankful heart is a happy heart. You agree with that? Yes. Uh, so you want to be happy? You just need to be thankful. Be thankful to God in everything you say. Uh, you know, be thankful. Sabi nga, in everything, give thanks. Sabi dito, when we say thank you to God for the things that are coming, it's really a declaration of our faith in Him. Right? Kaya your faith says thank you. Sabi natin sa first uh, learning natin. It's saying, God, no? parang sinasabi natin, God, I'm sure of your goodness. Sigurado ko. I'm so sure that you're working in my life that I'm going to thank you right now for what you are going to do tomorrow. Hindi pa dumarating. Alam yun? Sabi nga, eh, uh, wag kang magbibilang ng itlog hanggat hindi pa nagiging sisiw. Pero sa principle na to, bilangin mo na. Yes. Dahil, dahil, dahil sigurado na you will be blessed. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> right? you will be blessed. Amen. I'm not teaching prosperity gospel dito, but what I'm saying is that I'm teaching faith. I'm teaching faith that it is something that we need to work on kasi we came from a Filipino culture that mababa yung faith we were taught of na para ah, doomsday tomorrow Maba, yung 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 pagiging thankful hindi natin pina-practice you see uh, Filipino culture is far far different from biblical culture what we need to use sa na i-apply natin sa life natin it should be not Filipino culture it should be uh God's biblical culture, culture. It's, it should be God's culture no ngayon may tanong ako sa inyo what are you thankful for is it health is it home is it family is it friends is it food everything okay. everything. How about you? everything everything of course lahat lahat <laughs> lahat, lahat. di ba imagine mo kung meron ka lahat yan eh di yan saya di ba being alive is already a blessing Amen. Ayan, being alive. That's true, Brother Bong. Amen. Yes, yes po. Uh, uh, surviving the pandemic is already a blessing. Yeah. Right? After Amen. one month COVID. Bong <laughs> had COVID. Thank God he survived. See, Brother Bong had COVID and he survived. Yeah. Wow, praise the Lord. Uh, Amen. 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 And uh, Jamie, yeah, Jamie now from Texas also has COVID and she, she, she's uh, recovering beautifully, right, Reggie? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, then me, uh, handsome, handsomely. I'm sorry, Brother Bong? Even me, I survived handsomely. <laughs> <laughs> you survived. Just handsomely. kidding. <laughs> I think I'm <laughs> happy. <laughs> okay, let's welcome another person. Hi, Javis. Is this Chi? Chi, is this you? Good evening, Jabez. Hello. Hello. Good evening, Jabez. Excuse me. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Is this Chi? Chi? Kamu Hi. Good Hello. evening, Chi. Kamu sta. Di ko palang napalitan ng pangalan ni Jabez. Oh, si Jabez. Sabi ko, sabi ko na abay ko yung kasi anak mo Jabez eh. Oh, uh, welcome, welcome, si Chi, uh, taga LA din niya. Thank you. Uh, nurse yan sa LA. Chi, nandito si, uh, si Joy from South Carolina. Si Leslie from LA. 
Si, Sorry, uh, kakalabas ko lang ng work. <laughs> it's okay. Sister Marian, Brother Besad from uh, LA. Sister Fe from LA. Uh, Sister Reggie from Texas. Brother Bong from Texas. Sister LV from LA. And Sister Bernadette from Texas. Okay, ang dami natin. Okay. Okay, makiki... Okay, sige, Chi. Total, bagong dating ka. Ito, magbasa na next slide. <laughs> okay. Ito ba yun? Nagda-drive ka ba? Hindi, naglalakan sa park. Papunta ng parking. <laughs> okay, sige, sige. Pakibasa yun, mga kapatid. Okay, mga kapatid. That's the kind of faith that pleases God. He wants us to trust in His goodness and believe that He is the rewarder of those who dil diligently seek Him. He delights in seeing our faith. He delights in an attitude of gratitude. Amen. Amen. It's a kind of ano, faith that pleases God. Imagine, no, we're talking about faith that says thank you. Imagine if you have this kind of faith, no, you, you, just don't, uh, it, 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 uh, you, don't, you don't just receive blessings from Him. You don't just receive blessings in the future from Him. It also, gives, uh, it also pleases God. You know what is one thing that uh, uh, that uh, that is so nice to achieve is knowing that you are pleasing God, right? Amen. Uh, yung parang yung ano bawa yung mami mo, daddy mo, diba? It's nice to please them, no? For, you, you give something for them. You uh, kumbaga uh, something na. Uh, mga mga bagay na pwedeng uh, makakatulong sa kanila right lalo na sa old age no so kubaga that's the kind of faith that pleases god he wants us to trust in his goodness and believe that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him so it's it's worth it to diligently seek the lord amen, amen. so sabi nga sa 1 Thessalonians 5.18 Give thanks in all circumstances. Amen. Alright. Sabi dito as we, as we uh, close, close yung first learning natin. Sister Mini, pakibasa. Let your faith say thank you. Praise Him throughout the day with an attitude of joy and expect to see His goodness in every area of your life. Amen. Amen. Okay. So tapos na tayo sa learning number one. Let's go to learning number two. Okay? You're pre-wired to be imitators. You agree with that? No? But we should be imitators choosing to follow God. Alam nyo, uh, okay, uh, Sister Sister Reggie, I need yes. you. Okay. Pre-wired to be imitator. Be imitators of God. Therefore, as dearly loved children and live a life of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Amen. What do you mean by uh, pre-wired? Anybody? What do you mean by pre-wired? Anong ibig sabihin ng pre-wired? How would you define pre-wired? Anybody? Anybody? No, yung kumbaga, pag sinabing pre-wired... Ang meron ng ano. Like you were planned to be like that. Kumbaga, pag, uh, if it's something like you bought from the factory, you were already pre-wired. You were designed, you're, you're you're, designed to be something. Meron ng... Yeah, which, nakakabit na sa'yo yun. Kasama na sa binayaran mo yun. Parang ganun. No? Yeah. Kumbaga, uh, kung uh, if you're buying uh, uh, a vacuum cleaner, meron ng hose. Parang ganun. Yeah. <laughs> Meron ng ano, meron ng sanitizer, parang gano'n. So, Hello, <laughs> the, the thing is here, our personal vision, no, uh, basing it doon sa binasa natin kanina, sabi natin dito, we should be imitators of God. no. So, our personal vision must be to be more, more like Christ. Like Christ. Amen? Amen. That should Amen. be our personal vision. To be more like Christ. Because hey, you'll never go wrong if you if you if you be more like Christ. No? Okay, let's ask uh Sister Lenlen to read this. 
Next slide. Oh, have you ever spent time with a small child or baby and had them mimic your every sound or action? To them, it's a fun game, but internally they are learning by watching and copying everything you do. They just watch and do the same thing. That's because we are all pre-wired to be imitators. Ayun, exactly. No, Sister Is Lennon it? just defined what do we mean by pre-wired. We are pre-wired to be imitators. No, I, I remember I used to work in a fast food. Whatever hairstyle that I'll be wearing, all my crew will be, you know, they'll just imitate you. And uh, your children, whatever you're doing in life, whether it's bad or it's good, they'll just imitate you. Do you agree? No? So, for example, uh, uh, you're not eating ano, uh, a certain food. Although, for example, you're allergic to shrimp. Your children are not allergic to shrimp. Since you're not cooking shrimp, you're not eating shrimp, they tend to they are pre-wired to imitate you. No? So, since we are pre-wired, we need to imitate the Lord. No? Kasi our children love to imitate. Eh. We're la just like us, na parang mga anak ng Diyos, we love to imitate. We love to imitate even the world, actually. No? Mm -hmm. Tingnan nyo, basahin nyo dito. Sige pa, go ahead. Um, it's the same as in computer. Yes. Pag binili mo, meron na siyang ano, a system. Naka-condition uh -huh. na siya. Mm -hmm. Naka-program na. That's true. Mm -hmm. So that's pre-wired. Yep. And imagine nyo dito, uh, uh, let's ask Brother Besad, can you read the next slide? Please? Uh, kindly unmute your... Okay, go ahead. Uh, just like little children, Mm -hmm. We are all still Imitator. imitators. So many people today end up uh, imitating what they see in the world, mm -hmm. on the TV, in the news and magaz magazine. Mm -hmm. But scripture tells us that we are to be imitator of God, mm -hmm. follow his example of love. Amen. Mm -hmm. So same principle. If you imitate, so, so, so here, if you put a lot of time, effort in magazines, in TV, in, in a Korean novella, mm -hmm. in a, you know, whatever that, that consumes your time, no, you imitate. You imitate them. That's why Filipinos, they love to buy uh, whitening ano, products. Because they want to be all Korean novellas, something like that. <laughs> K-pop. K-pop. Right? K-pop. But here, the scripture tells us that we are to be imitators of God and follow His example of love. Then you, When you uh, uh, put aside a time for Bible study, reading the Word, attending this kind of life group, even though it is just in Zoom, uh, you know, fellowshipping with other believers, fellowshipping with God, no? you tend to unknowingly imitate the Lord. No? So you, you, you'll see this in your everyday life eh, you, on how you react into different situations. Okay? Sabi nga, ulitin natin, be imitators of God. No? Pakibasa meaning siya. Be imitators of God as dearly loved children and live a life of love just as Christ loved us and gave himself for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Mm -hmm. So it could be a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God also. Ayan. So let's ask Sister LV. Sister LV, can you read the next slide? If you need to change your actions today, mm -hmm. change what you are imitating by simply changing your focus. Mm -hmm. The more you focus on the word, the more you will imitate God. Mm -hmm. And when you do things God's way, you will get, you will get God's results. Mm -hmm. Peace, joy, and blessing all the days of your life. Amen. Any inputs? Ganda ng binasa ni Sister Elvie, right? If you need to change your action now, ngayon, ano daw papalitan mo? No? Yung focus mo. Focus. Oh, Magkana daw masyado madad ng Korean novela. <laughs> focus on the word. Yeah, the more you focus on the word, it's Friday night, right? 
Friday night is party night. Sabi nga, thank God it's Friday. And you, go, you go somewhere and party. And you chose to be here in Zoom for one hour to hear God's word. Right? Amen. That's true? Amen. Amen. The more you focus on the word, the more you the will more imitate God. God. Yes. And when you do things God's way, ano daw ang resulta? Peace, Peace. joy, joy. And blessings and all the all days, days of our lives. Life. This is in line with the Matthew 6.33 principle. Seek ye first the kingdom and righteousness of God. And all these things, whatever you want, good relationships, finances, health, everything that will, you will benefit from will be what? Added unto you. So the principle is seek God first. Amen. Okay. So you need to seek God first. You need to put Him first. Okay? So instead of, it's just like when you plan to uh, for a trip, you just don't hop in into your car, start the engine, and sped off to whatever place you want to go. You need to prepare. You need to, first and foremost, you need to have a point A and point B. You need to know where you're going and you need to make sure your car is in a good running condition. It's the same thing. If you want a good result in your life, good result in your travel from point A to point B, no, you need to prioritize whatever needs to be prioritized. So if you don't prioritize preparation, you'll end up in accidents or you'll end up, you know, not not making it to point B. So if you want God's results, if you want peace, if you want joy, if you want blessings all the days huh, of your life, mm -hmm. you need to understand we need to seek Him first and put Him as our priority. Yeah. That's why every Wednesday, I don't know, uh, we decided for 52 weeks, no, uh, I am teaching, actually I'm not preaching every Wednesday, so, so, so Facebook and YouTube, I decided to to help Christians or non-believers to have an overview of each book. I call it Walk Through the Bible, Bible uh, 52 Weeks of Journey uh, from Genesis to Revelation. I, I, I just finished last Wednesday, Exodus. So every book, I just give the summary, what are the important things, not things to learn. So the people who will watch this will be encouraged to read the bible so they'll have more time spending time more sp more spend they will have more time to spend with god no? and ang manifestation is a blessed life kasi you tend to imitate god kasi sabi nga uh, the more you hear sabi nga, faith faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of god faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of god so yun and last but not the least, sabi natin, important learnings ngayong gabi. Your faith says thank you. We need to be thankful to God, always thankful to thankful to people around us. And number two, sabi natin, we are pre-wired to be imitators. We are being encouraged to imitate God, spend more time in God, and always make sure to prioritize God. And number three, ito yung tumutumbok natin kasi preparation lang yung dalawang learnings sa yun eh. Ito yung gusto natin tumbukin para mas maintindihan natin. For us to understand more, what do we mean by being still? Alright? So we need to be still and uh, we need to assure ourselves that He is God. He is God of our lives. Right? Psalm 46.10 Be still and know that I am God. Yeah. Are you familiar with this song? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ganda ng message eh. Sige, let's ask uh, Sister Mary Ann to read the first line. Wala ko sing. Sino oh? si Jabez? Wala ko sing. Oh, yeah, why don't we ask Chi? Chi is a singer. <laughs> Real. Or Bong. <laughs> bong. Alam mo yan, Bong. Bong. Alam mo ba yung song na yan? Hide me now. Alam mo yan? Are you familiar with that song? Under your wings. Sige, yeah, Pastor, tuloy natin. Okay. Hindi, pa, hindi pa, Pastor. Hindi, hindi, hindi ko alam yan. How about you, Chi? Chi, kaya bang ano, kantayin for us para ma hmm? mas maintindihan nila? Never heard that. Never heard that? 
Sorry, <laughs> hindi na iba Oh, still. If I, if I hear the same thing, I can't. Oh, sige, sige, sige. Uh, let's let's hear it from Mini. <laughs> can you sing for Can you sing for us so we can? All right, all right. Mini Mini will uh, Mini will sing it, and then uh, uh, if you remember this song or if you're familiar with this song, sing along. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Oh, I got it. Now I remember it. Oh, sing along, sing along. Within Yes, amen. Alam nyo, magkaiba daw ang uh, singer sa worshiper. Okay. A singer is uh, someone who pleases the people with their voice. No? Pero ang worshiper, eh, kahit wala daw sa tono, eh, that pleases the ears of God. Right? Kaya tingnan nyo dun sa, may, sa, for, sa, ano, no? sa lyrics nitong song na to. Ang ganda nung, ano, eh, nung message. Eh, no? Sabi dito, Hide me now under your wings. No? The, the, the author of uh, the, the composer of the song, the lyricist, is asking God for him to be hidden under the wings of God. Cover me with your mighty hand. It says here, find rest my soul in Christ alone, knowing your power and quietness and trust. Now, when the oceans rise and thunder soar, so we are all familiar with a storm, thunder, especially we're all from the Philippines. I will soar with you no? above the storm. See, the eagle is the only bird who can soar above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood. And I will be still knowing that you are my God. Amen. That's a beautiful song, right? It's so beautiful that it embodies the, the, the message no, for tonight. Right? So let's ask uh, Brother Bong, can you read this please? Next slide. When God created Adam, he put him in the Garden of Eden, a very quiet, peaceful, tranquil place. That's where God met him and spoke with him in a place of peace. Amen. Can you imagine you know, the place God prepared for Adam and Eve? You know, it's a beautiful place. Uh, no... Kumbaga, walang hassle, everything is provided for. Pero the best thing that you can get from that place is the tranquility. Yung peacefulness, yung quietness. No? Kasi walang problema, as in it's a paradise. No? So that's the intention of God to put us... Uh, it, it, the, 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 from the very start, you will observe that the very intention of God is to put us, for us to reside, to dwell in a place that is quiet, peaceful, and uh, with tranquility. But what is happening right now? No? Our, 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 our world is kind of you know, chaotic. There's racism. There's like protests everywhere. The entire coast of West Coast, Oregon, California, uh, Washington are being burned. Uh, you know, uh, in the East, there's like... Uh, kakabagyo lang diyan di ba sa east joy kakabagyo lang sa inyo and uh, a lot of uh, things are happening especially by november there will be presidential election so people are you know divided there's divisiveness so there's such there's as if a lot of people they are having this anxiety they have they're having this uh, depression they feel like i'm not living in a in a in a in a place where God intends me to leave uh, to leave. But here's the thing: 
if you're a Christian, if you're a believer, if you believe in God, in the midst of chaos, uh, He can create a garden of Eden for you. Do you agree with that? Amen. Yes. He can create a garden Amen. of Eden for you. Now, I wonder what Adam and Eve look like. Are they Caucasian? Sa palagay nyo? Are they dark? Are they yellow Asian? Are they brown Asian? Are they Middle East Asian? No, but it doesn't matter. Kasi all colors matter to God. Eh. Pero the thing is, they were put in a place no, designed for tranquility, for, for uh, peace and quietness. No? Here's the thing. Let's ask uh, Sister... Uh, Sister Joy, to read this. Sister Joy. Do you see the red? Today's life, today's life can be very noisy. If we allow it, all of us can live stressed, uptight, in a hurry, and on edge. In the midst of the whirlwind of activity going on around us, we've got to learn to not let the busyness, the frustration, and stress get on the inside of us. Amen. Any input? Anybody? Sa binasa ni Sister Joy, no? Ang buhay daw natin ngayon, today's life can be, can be very noisy. Pero, if we allow it, no? So, there's a matter of choice. We can choose to allow it or we can choose to, you know, just shut, shut the door and, uh, you know, and uh, allow God to create a special paradise within our place. Right? So, sabi dito, all of us can live... Uh, can leave stressed, uptight, in a hurry, and always edgy. Kumbaga, parang uh, our day-to-day is like meron tayong nahabol, as if like we're running after something. No? Pero, ang maganda dito, in the midst of whirlwind of activity going on around us, we can, we've got to learn to let the business, the frustration, and the stress get on the inside of us so you can shut it uh, outside no but how here's the thing the the idea of god is for you to be like adam and eve to be put in a special place you know, where you can find a garden of eden you no know, within wherever you are god can create a garden of eden a place of quiet peaceful, and tranquility. Diba? Even ngayon nga, eh, kahit na ang buong pamilya, a lot of people are busy. <laughs> Even though you are physically together, with, with, that, with, with technology, everybody's on their uh, iPod, iPhone, well, <laughs> laptop. No? So, the, 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 today, yung, yung technology, it can also a hindrance. It can help us so a lot of things, but it also can be a hindrance for us to to experience uh, peace and quietness and tranquility. How about this? Uh, Sister Marianne, can you read this? It may be hectic. It may be hectic on the outside, but deep mm-hmm. down spirit, you can be at rest because you know God has you. God has you in the palm of His hand. Amen. Do you agree? No? Amen. Okay. Things might be hard for nowadays, but but be reminded that sabi sa Isaiah 49:16, see, I have engraved you in the palm of my hand. Right? Amen. So it, it is like something that a lot of people. I don't know if you know Mani Pacquiao. Uh, all his all his is like his wife, his children were tattooed on his left uh, uh, braso or ano ba to? Mm. arm. So, uh, it's a permanent ink, right? But for God, you are engraved. You're not just tattooed. You are engraved. You are engraved in the palm of His hand. How can He ever will forget you? It's impossible, right? Yes. That's how much He loves you. So, you just need to Understand that even though uh, it's hectic on the outside, but deep down in your spirit, you can be at rest. You can be calm. 
you can experience tranquility because you know God has you in the palm of His hand. Now, uh, Sister LV, kindly read this. Thank you. Sister LV. Okay. May you have been worried for a long time or stressed because of dream hasn't come to pass or upset over a challenge you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Experience by on. Is there anything that uh, you've been wanting for or dreaming of? Uh, you're worried that it has not yet come to pass. No? And it, it makes you uh, upset. No? Uh, it became a challenge for you as you deal with it. No? And sometimes, you know, you, you upset people are baga, contrary doon sa God's will. What is God's will again? We need to be still and the Lord wants us to experience rest, calmness, peacefulness, quietness, tranquility. No? Sabi dito, minipakibasa ka. Just like God met Adam at the place of peace, God is saying, there may be trouble around, but I'm calling you to a place of peace. Be still and know that I am God. Come to me and I will give you wisdom, strength, grace, and for everything you face. Amen. No? Amen. We agree? agree? Amen. There may be trouble. God is saying to us right now, you might be experiencing trouble. No? around you. But he's saying to you right now, I am calling you to a place of peace. Just be still and know that I am God. Come to me and I will give you wisdom. I will give you strength. I will give you my grace for everything you face. No, sa lahat ng kakarapin mo, yan ang marireceive mo. Uh, we are all familiar with box, no? with, we are all familiar with uh, deers, these are sa 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 ang tawag doon sa circle of life ang tawag doon food chain they mm -hmm. are the prey <laughs> di ba the predators are the tigers the lions yung mga wild cats no uh, crocodiles or or whatever they are always being hunted all their lives since birth <laughs> Every day, every minute of their life, they are always being hunted because they are meant supposed to supposed to be a lunch or dinner of the predators. Imagine a life. Every minute of your life, you feel like you will be killed today. No? So these creatures develop a certain paranoia no, in them that they don't want to go to places that they are not familiar with. You will seldom see them no? in a place where they are resting. Usually, they always on the move because, they, of course, they're evading the predators. But you will seldom see them lying around, resting in a peaceful manner. But here's the thing. The same thing is the intention of God sa buhay natin. He wants you to rest in the midst of this chaotic world. And you can only find rest if you will learn how to trust in Him. Remember the scenario of Jesus when He was in the boat, He was sleeping, and all His uh, followers were like, oh, we will all die right now because of this mighty storm. But then suddenly Jesus awoke and He said to the wind, stop. Cease, no, be still. And then all his apostles and disciples were like, Who is this man that even the storm listens to him? It's the same thing. If you are under pressure right now, if you are under stress, you know, if you have many problems, experiencing health problems, experiencing financial problems, experiencing broken relationship problems, experiencing all the kinds of problems of this world, we need to understand, we need to realize that you can just say, Lord, I trust in you. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. And I believe in you that you can put a stop in everything that is happening right now. And I can rest. And you can give me peace. And I can live in tranquility and quietness in your presence. 
Do you agree with that? Amen. Amen. Just like this, ano, itong mga usa na to, mga box, no? Amen. They're resting. They know that they're safe in that area. So, what did we learn for tonight? Your faith says thank you. Remember to be grateful to God and to great, be grateful to a lot of people. Remember to change the Filipino culture of not saying thank you. From now on, you need to develop, a, 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 you know, it must be a second nature to you. And everything says, say, say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you to anybody. So you're pre-wired to be imitators, not to be imitators of what we are watching or what we are listening to, but imitators of God. You need to soak yourself in the Word. You need to soak yourself in the presence of God. You need to attend uh, uh, Bible studies. You need to read your Word. You need to listen to podcasts. You need to go fellowship with your fellow believers so that you will, you will imitate the Lord more because you are pre-wired to imitate God. And of course... Uh, our, our, our main lesson for tonight is God is reminding us to be still. And I can create a beautiful uh, Garden of Eden, a paradise within this chaotic world. As long as you trust in me, as you have faith in me, you know, be assured that I can calm the storm for you. I can change your situation, whatever you are into it right now. Let us pray. Sige, manilangin tayo. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for this beautiful Friday night evening. Thank you for the fellowship, Lord God. Thank you for your word. Lord, thank you for drawing us to the place of peace. Lord, we choose to be still. We choose to find rest in you. We choose to trust you, knowing that our days are ordered by you. Lord, we choose to put you first place in our lives. And imitate you, Lord. We set aside the things of the world and invite you, Lord God, to search our hearts and our minds. Give us your heart, Lord God, and give us your love. Give us and teach us, Lord God, to be an example of your goodness. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for your resurrection power at work in our lives. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for your uh, the broken dreams, disappointments, failures, setbacks, trusting that your resurrection power, Lord, is at work in us. We trust that you have a good plan for our future, Lord, and you are leading us into a total victory. Thank you for another day to praise your name. Thank you for all you have done in our lives and for what you will do tomorrow. We're expecting it, Lord, the blessings. Yes. Help me to see your hand of blessings as I we continually praise your name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. And amen. And amen. God Thank bless you guys. Nako, uh, ano lang, konting, uh, konting commercial lang. Reopening soon ang uh, Los Angeles LA First Church of the Nazarene, the Filipino congregation. We are targeting October 4. Uh, please uh, come if you can come. Yun lang yung mga taga-Texas, pero meron kaming uh, online. You can watch us uh, sa mga taga-LA. Please be excited. And uh, calling all uh, workers, if you are available tomorrow, 10 to 12, we will uh, again clean our office, our pantry, our dining area in preparation for the upcoming opening on October. And uh, after that, 12 o'clock, we will have a small potluck lunch fellowship doon sa courtyard ng church. So... Yun, uh, happy, happy Friday sa inyong lahat. Thank you for uh, joining our Bible study for tonight. And uh, thank you, Marianne and Besa. Yeah, uh, thank, thank you, Pastor Jeff. Uh, it was so useful. I learned a lot. And then if you don't mind, Marianne wants to sing for everybody. Oh, sure. We, we, <laughs> we would love that. We would love to hear that. We practice right. that song. Okay, let, let, uh, our, let us hear that. Yeah. No, I uh, the song uh, I heard. This song I heard in the Facebook, and they changed the lyrics for Jesus. Mm -hmm. That I I uh, I was practicing last night, but I I, uh, I want to praise God for this. Amen. <laughs>
if not for you. What am I li living for? Sorry. If not for you. Jesus, nobody else, nobody else will do. That's it. Thank you. Amen. Let's look again the other. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, this is very much a beautiful yes. song. God bless you, Brother Bong. God bless you, Sister LV. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, Paul. Thank you. Have Joy, thank you. thank you. Sister Chi, thank you. See you next week. Cheers. See you next Friday. God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.